your SNMP traps on an Avaya Aura Communications Manager 7.0 starting with the version 6.3.111 and including version 7.0 uh, the Avaya Aura Communications Manager now uses a new SNMP MIB whole new way of alarming uh, the old SNMP MIBs will do you no good on the version 6.3.111 and higher. Uh, looks to be very promising. So let's go in and take a look at it. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to log in to the CM using the web interface or the system management interface. So far everything looks pretty much the same as the previous versions. I'm going to go ahead and go to the server maintenance. One thing uh, that does stand out, uh, instead of just trap destinations, now they, it actually says FP traps, which I assume stands for fault performance. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go into the uh, fault performance traps. And currently, there's no trap destinations configured. But while we're here, we're going to take a quick look at the new Avaya Aura CM Alarm MIB. This is the MIB file that actually shows you all of the alarms. has almost all of the notification plans right here. have a few miscellaneous objects up front. Scroll down until we get to the notifications. Come on. There we go. Notification types. As you'll see, they all seem to be pretty much looking uh, the way they've that they've worded it. Basically, they all start with AVCM, and then it gives you a brief little description of it. And the notifications are usually end with either a clear, a minor, a major, a warning, a resolved, a reset wording, and then a plain English definition. So let's go ahead and configure some traps. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to go into the agent status. And we're going to stop the master agent. Right now the master agent is down. I'll go into fault and performance traps. And in this case we're going to be using SNMP version 2C. First thing I'm going to do is enter the IP address of the alarm track server or the gateway that will be relaying the traps out. Notification type, we're always going to use trap. And the community name is whatever your SNMP manager or your alarm track server is configured to receive. By default, it is public. And I'll go ahead and submit. And Trap destination successfully added. I'm just going to take a quick look. 192.168.1.8 port 160 U2 is notification type is trap. SNMP version 2C community is public. That looks good. I can go ahead and restart the master agent. I think we're going to see though that it's probably already restarted by itself. Yeah, master agent is up. This is something I noticed that's new. I'm not sure if it's an indication that's gone wrong or if it restarts itself. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the master agent one more time. And I'll restart it just so it sees the changes. Once the master agent's been restarted, we should be able to take a look at the filters. We'll wait here and wait for it to come up.
there we are okay by default we have a filter which is going to send basically all alarms that looks good so let's send a test trap generate a test trap As you can see, command complete is successful. It does say that the communication or the uh, test message was successfully reported to the GMM. Uh, SNMP traps being uh, UDP protocol, they're connectionless and they have no way of knowing if the trap actually was received. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to log in to Alarm Track. We'll take a look at the alarms and make sure that we received an SNMP trap. And there it is from the, the DLC3. As you can see, the maintenance name uses a new maintenance name. Instead of the, uh, traditionally it was the testing INADS link, like we will we can see right down here. Or the test cust alarm. Now we're using AVCM ALM alarm test. That's the new maintenance object name. And we should be able to see that maintenance object. If I look at the alarm track SNMP trap log, I'll scroll down to the very bottom. And there it is, alarm received. And here is the SNMP trap object ID which maps to the name CM alarm test and it does give all new variables from that new MIB file and the new alarm. So I see that's working and uh, we're in good shape. And that's all I've got for you today folks. As you can see the new MIB file is required for all new systems starting with version of, uh, of Iora Communications Manager version 6.3.111 and higher. And you also must be running Alarm Check 7.6. Thank you.